gangs in the northern areas of Port Elizabeth, well, they seem to have turned their attention on school learners. A new intimidatory method is being used to either recruit new members or extort money from learners. Now, a bullet with your name on it is put on your desk. Join, pay the protection fee, or die is the message that comes with it. Now, Helen Vale and Galvindale are well-known ganglands of Port Elizabeth playing host to violent crime since the 1960s. There are currently 17 gangs operating in the northern areas alone. Jade Lee Polzer has looked into this new phenomenon and filed this report. The streets of Helen Vale. Here, children as young as eight years old are roped in to join a gang. For many families, the threat is real. A threat that follows children to school. During the first interval, and me and my cousin were standing at the tuck shop, and then this group of boys came ran, running up to us and asking us for money to pay. And then we said we didn't have. And afterwards, they, they threatened us and said we're going to beat them, beat us up. The victim's mother is not taking any chances with the son's life. He was afraid and then he asked me to take him out of the school. After the incident, he didn't go back to the school at all because of that. And um, the gangsters, uh, or the police guys that intimidated with that victimized him, they are actually living in the same vicinity. So it's difficult to come forward and tell or, or say what happened to the principal or the actual teachers as they are currently living in our area. So which makes it for me a bit frustrating that I can see them, you know, they bullet my child, I can see them walking around and I can't do anything. Others don't have the same choice. You either join for a life of crime or you buy your life. A classroom is supposed to be a place where learning occurs, where students feel safe. But there are many scholars in the northern areas who face daily obstacles, fear, intimidation, and also dodging bullets. The mother's plea to the education department has also evoked no response yet. I feel frustrated and I feel angry that nothing is being done. Seeing that I'm not the only person that speaks up. There's a lot of people that are victims to these crimes and you know that can attest to saying that their children are living in fear because of this that's happening at the school. The police say this was an isolated incident and that nobody has come forward to tell them about what's happening in the schools. We are aware of one situation at, uh, at the school in the northern areas. Um, but um, uh, cases that are actually um, happening in these areas are not reported to the police. Uh, most probably it's maybe reported to the school itself. The victims have not reported anything out of fear for revenge attacks. The victim we spoke to lost his friend. You all a bullet with his name on it. And they said they're going to kill him. And a few days later they shot and killed him also as well. Bayview Primary School is directly opposite Lead Street in Katanga. Here, the bullets often fly between rival gangs. Teachers at this school endeavor to keep the children off the streets and safe behind the fence, with windows tightly bolted down. We also realize as teachers that these kids are many a time traumatized. They traumatize and that's why we have to walk an extra mile. For us, we are not educators, we are first parents. Social workers say that gangsterism is not solely a criminal or law enforcement problem and treating it as such only worsens the situation. Justin Olifant runs a youth rehabilitation center in Galvindale. He says gangsterism is a culture. It's not only about drugs, but also about status, expensive clothes, and access to easy money. It seems like kids are now becoming more determined to fight for their space in gangs and, you know, in the criminal underworld, because there's money. And let's face it, if I'm going to be able to put food on the table tonight, um, by hook or by crook, a lot of these young people are going to do it. This is Bongo Street in Helenvale, or otherwise known as Katanga. Right now, as you can see, the street is very quiet, but
But once the sun goes down, it becomes a totally different story. The area has a high learner dropout rate. Children as young as 10 are not attending school. These children are street hardened. If the authorities are going to effectively counter what's going on in our schools now, um, they will have to start <laughs> probably literally from grade R up. Last year, a multidisciplinary task team was established by the Minister of Police, Nati Nkleko, to tackle gangsterism. It is making inroads. We have already arrested over a hundred uh, gang, uh, gangsters from the northern areas that are currently in our um, prisons awaiting trial. Last year, I think, I think the total of murders in the, in the northern areas was 267 um, Galvindale and Bettelsdorf police stations. 267 murders for an area as small as ours. And that's crazy. That's not the whole Nelson Mandela metro. That's only our areas. Um, life has become expendable and it's become very cheap. No official statistics have been published about gang-related deaths, but a source close to the investigation says that this figure is an accurate reflection. The community is also pulling together, calling for peace. Their message captured on this mural, hoping it will resonate with the gangsters. We are sick and tired of all the gangsters in our community. And it's like we want something to look at. When the guys come past, actually this space is a space where the guys normally come and shoot at each other. So we wanted them to see that we are actually tired of these things, you see. And this is also a place that the children use a lot to play soccer and things, you see. Teachers in the area also fear for their lives. Teachers don't want to come and teach here and we need to be strong. But as I say, I will always motivate my teachers and they know that also. And I think they are really warriors, just the mere fact that they accept it and still stay on in Helenville. The Eastern Cape Department of Education says it will investigate the allegations. And we're going to uh, go back to the northern areas uh, to pilot a program uh, on school safety and youth leadership. Uh, we're going to do that with the help of the school safety program in our, in our, direct, in our department and UNICEF. Actually, we're not even scared anymore of the guns because it's a usual thing. Every day, we, the guys, they, they tempt us, you see, they rob us, they take our phones and things, but we do nothing, you see, because we, as long as we have our lives, you see. For Dowell and Brendan and many other community members here in the northern areas, peace is all they want to ultimately bring unity and for most of all to stop the gang violence. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.